Good morning, guys. Hey, it's Robin the Lady Biker. Um, <laughs> I'm at the fuel station, and today, oh my gosh, we are headed out to Babes Ride Out, Babes Return to Borrego Springs, and I am so excited. Just got Scarlet fueled up. Ah, see. And waiting for two of my friends, for Chris and Karen to arrive. So it's gonna be kind of one of those things of, you know, two Harleys and a Ducati meet up at a fuel station. You know, kind of the start of an epic adventure, right? I think it is. So guys, hang on for a ride because we're gonna take you along. Hey guys, so we've made it to our first stop. Hold on. People in cars are just so disrespectful of me trying to get a video. <laughs> so anyway, got two of the ladies here with me. We got our third over there fueling up. Um, we made it to our first stop collecting the rest of our riders and we're headed east along the northern part of LA before we turn south, guys. So fortunately, I think the rain has finally cleared. Ah, we hope so. So it should be a gorgeous day. Anyway, keep hanging on for the ride. Well, we finally have cleared enough rain that I can put my GoPro on and we are on the road. I got my girls here behind me and I've taken out lead and oh my gosh, this is going to be such a great day. It's clearing out. It should be gorgeous. Okay, so we came down Highway 101. We're headed on Highway California Highway 126 right now. We're going to be working our way along the northern parts very northern parts of just above la up above big bear and all that before we turn south and head on down into borrego springs it is oh i'm so excited to do this okay so gonna have some links to i think it was my last babes ride out which was on the central coast and i told you a little bit about that there but for those of you who are not familiar with babes ride out Babes Ride Out stole. Oh, hello, that was a rough little bump. Babes Ride Out started in 2013 with our two fabulous leaders. And they decided how much fun would it be just to put a call out to women bikers. And they set a place, I think it was a coffee shop. If it wasn't a coffee shop, I'll put it down here on the bottom of the screen. But I think it was a coffee shop. And they put out a call on social media uh, about just heading out into the desert to do an all-women's, no-frills, just moto camping weekend. And they show up, and they found that there was already a group of women waiting for them. And it kept growing, and it kept growing, and it kept growing. And I want to say it was right around 50 women random women from all over the U.S. who just decided to jump on their bikes and head out into the desert and ride. And uh, that's how this whole thing got started, guys. And it is going strong. So this event, Babes Return to Borrego, is going to be a unique event in many ways. One, this is the first time, I think, since the first one, that we are back in Borrego Springs. It's been in Joshua Tree, it's been on the Central Coast, it's been on the East Coast, but this is the first time I think we're going back to Borrego Springs. So that's the first one. Second, this is the first time that we're kind of more like glamping it than roughing it. Because <laughs> we are taking over a RV and hotel resort. We took, we're taking over the entire thing. The third thing that makes this so unique, the tickets for this event sold out in six hours. Six hours gone. I was like, wow. So anyway, guys, we were all lucky enough to get our tickets and we are headed out. So, 
All right, I gotta make sure I keep a track of my ladies behind me because we've got one rider who is not very experienced or very skilled and I'm having to accommodate for her. So guys, I'm gonna catch up with y'all further down the road because I'm gonna make sure my girls are safe. Catch up with you then. Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing? Oh, gosh. Okay, we are at the beginning of day two of Babes Ride Out Return to Borrego Springs, and we are out today to do a, uh, it's not a huge loop, but it's got some really cool stuff. These amazing desert sculptures, and then a loop that's going to be a bunch of twisties. It's going to be an amazing, amazing ride today. We got in last night, got everything set up. As you saw in some other clips, we had a blast last night doing karaoke. And I'm telling you, these girls know how to have fun. So anyway, guys, you just hang on because we're going to keep showing you all kinds of stuff. And then we'll catch back up with you probably at camp later this afternoon. <laughs> Okay, guys, so stopped here along the side of the road, and uh, yeah, you gotta see what this is. 
check it out. You're riding along in the desert. And then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, now I understand what they were meaning by soft sand. Okay. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> Found a serpent in the middle of the desert. guys we are on a just a short little straight stretch all right Borrego Springs we're camping and all the earlier part of the footage was down in the valley and it was pretty warm it was already heading up oh I don't know it's heading up around 80 ish you know just warm enough that when you're stopped in the Sun in your jacket it's just a little warm now that we're up here in the high desert, where we've probably gained, oh gosh, 2,000 feet of elevation in about 20 miles, it's freaking cold up here. I'm considering stopping and putting on my flannel. Wow. There are some things about riding in the desert that I am still getting used to. Who knew? Good morning. Oh, sadly, it's day three of Babe's Ride Out, Babe's Return to Borrego. 
Oh gosh, I can't believe that it's, I, it's another one has come to an end. Uh, so this was the last Babes Ride Out event of 2021. And ladies, uh, y'all knocked it out of the park again. A uh, freaking amazing event. Now, if you've ever been or seen some videos of Babes Ride Out, whether East Coast, Central Coast, Joshua Tree, this one was quite a bit different because this was the first time that we took over a entire location, like a resort. It was a RV and hotel resort. Really cute place, as you saw in some of the, the clips that I showed earlier in the video. And it was <laughs> it was crazy. Even last night, we had a bunch of girls riding around naked on their motorcycles. You know, it's kind of great. You never know what's going to happen whenever you get a bunch of women together and we're able to let loose. The, uh, it just, I ha there's no words. This was fantastic. Fantastic fantastic event so headed home it's fairly early I've been hitting some like sun right in my eyes kind of curves and different things but eh, just taking my time I want to get across as much of LA this morning as I can before the traffic really picks up so headed out riding solo heading home the other girls wanted to take a little bit more time and you know what I'm glad they are and so uh I'm off, just me and Scarlett. <laughs> but what I want to say, guys, to kind of finish off this whole video is don't wait. Don't wait for the right time to make a trip, to do something unique, to do something special. Don't wait. Before you know it, life takes over and then it's gone. And you look back going, but, but, but if you've been putting off a trip, if you've been putting off an experience, don't block the calendar, put the down payment down, you know, pick a direction and take off, set a, a route and make hotel or camping reservations along the way, whatever it is that makes you feel empowered and happy and everything, do it do it. If it's starting a business, don't hold back anymore. Write up the business plan. Do it. Take a risk. This, our life is short. So, okay, going to get off my soapbox and just ride now. And I cannot wait to come back and share this area with Allie because we will be back. Anyway, guys. So, with that being said, I'm going to turn the cameras off and I'm just going to enjoy my ride today. And I want y'all to do the same. Get out and ride. Have fun. Be safe. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye.